card here between these two contenders. Marlon Vera, five years older than Song Yudong at 27 years old. Both fighters five feet, eight inches tall, but a pretty sizable three and a half inch reach advantage lies with Chito Vera from Ecuador. Setting the table for us tonight is Bruce Buffer. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we are live from the Five Star Veterans Memorial Arena in Jacksonville, Florida for UFC Fight Night. Overeem versus Harris. And now, this fight is three rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a grappler holding professional record, 15 wins, five losses, one draw. He stands five feet, eight inches tall, weighing in at 145 and one half pounds. Fighting out of Charlie Manami, Ecuador, Marlon Chico. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a mixed martial artist holding a professional record. 15 wins, four losses, one draw, one no contest. He stands five feet, eight inches tall, weighing in at 145 and one half pounds. Fighting out of Heiji on China, Sonia Dong. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata will control the action between Marlon Vera and Song Yudong. Brittany Palmer has been the Octagon Girl of the Week here in Jacksonville, Florida. Five fight main card coming up. What a week right, it has been in the ready, Sunshine ready, State, sir. and we're thrilled Still to bring fighting. you the action here as we're underway. Marlon Chito Vera is in the gold, Song Yudong in the black. As you mentioned before, Brendan, there is a reach advantage in the arms from Marlon Vera, but also a reach advantage in the legs by two inches. And that's the big advantage that he has here. He's by far the better kicker. But Song Yudong, if he can get on the inside and minimize the reach advantage, he's got far more heavier hands. Despite the five fight win streak for Marlon Vera, he's an underdog at plus 160 tonight. Song Yudong minus 190 and trying to put together that one two combination. Fires a low kick. Toyo tires, the official tire of the UFC. Nice job there from Vera, covers up well. Yeah, I was just going to say he's obviously trained that because perfectly. Song came in and it was a real tight guard. And Chito just stays so calm in there, doesn't he? Even though he knows that powerful right hand is coming, he just sitting in the pocket, taking his time. Yeah, he's just trying to get a read on him, trying to get a read on his timing and his rhythm, trying to see what faint songs trying to use to get on the inside. But you've got to be careful as well, sitting back and waiting too long can sometimes, you know, go against you. But that's what he's doing. That's a nice, fast inside low kick there by Chito. And Chito Vera has showed poise and toughness despite having to battle through some of the early parts of the fight. Five fights in a row that he's finished, but only one of those came in the first round. He'll go into deep waters. He'll kind of take a shot and come back later in the fight. Take a shot, yeah, he'll get hurt, get beat up for a little while, and then figure it out, just like we're doing. he's doing right now. I think he's just taking stock. Oh, absolutely. I mean, the people that he's surrounding himself with now are some of the best in the business, and he really is championship material. I mean, this is an incredibly tough fight for both gentlemen here, and whoever wins this one is going to take a big step up. Oh, man. He got him flinching hard on that one, Mike. Yeah. Oh, I like that kick straight to that right hand from Yadong. Beautiful calf kick. That one was heavy. You mentioned the team, Michael, of Chito Vera, who's been several years now in Southern California at Team Oyama with Colin Oyama in his corner, but he's added Jason Perillo recently as well, Michael. Yeah, Jason Perillo, one of the best boxing coaches in the business. Colin Oyama has been around forever. Daryl Christian is an Olympic uh, wrestling coach. And Jeeva Santana, the arm collector, that's his jiu-jitsu coach, who's just an, an amazing coach. So an all-star team of coaches at his disposal. 
Carrillo saying that the fight IQ is really improving for a guy like Marlon Vera, who says, so a lot of people get, will say they don't watch film on their opponent, they leave it to their coaches. Vera will say, when my wife and the kids are out for a few hours, I turn the lights down, I watch my guy and everything I can find on him to really try to break it down myself. And then we convene with the team and figure out how we're going to get a win. Yeah, I always like to watch my guys, but not too much, you know, because at the end of the day, you know, what I found through my experience was if you're watching a fight and you're watching their knockouts and you obsess over it and you're watching it over and over again, then when you step in the octagon, you realize that this man, you've just watched him for three months, knocking yeah. people out every day on TV, and it can make you a little tentative. So towards the end of my career, I stopped doing that. I would watch them once at the start of training camp, know what they're about, and then that was it. Yeah, I agree. My I, Same thing. I, I get a read on what I think are some tells, especially early on when you're not as nervous about it, you're not as anxious. Then I sit back and let my coaches handle it. These guys are warming up now, though. A little feeling out process at the start, but they're both connecting. Song's landed a couple of good ones. Cheeto's got the clinch here, looking for the tinies. You can need a body, Song. There's no inside troops against the cage. Don't do that. There you hear the voice of Uriah Faber in the corner of Song Yadong, who ventured from China to Team Alpha Male in Sacramento a few years ago. Nice head position. Marlon's been working a lot of clinch work here. Dal Christian, that's one of his fortes. I used to train with him as well. Just clinch, clinch, clinch. So, no stranger to working on the fence here for Marlon. Turned in nicely. Trying to soften up the legs of Song Yudong. It's Marlon Vera with 30 seconds to go in round one. Real close round. Yeah. Very efficient for the nice tie clinch there for a moment. There. Yeah, both guys are fighting for the clinch. you got to be careful, though, with the man. Oh! Real nice elbow. Very nice. Look at this. This is a real nice clinch fight here. Signal for the final seconds around number one. There's Vera firing off some knees to the body. Song's just chilling. <laughs> Ready for round two, as are we after this. Yep, one. Good luck, you know. One or two. One, one, one. 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 Those ones up. Yeah. Hey, when, when you set the pace, you're in business, right? This guy doesn't yeah. function going backwards. I know, I know. What Jason's saying is touch him with some punch. Jab cross here. You hit him with the turn. Yeah, just busy, busy, busy. You can back this guy up. He's letting you push him back. Just stay on him when you're backing up and busy, all right? Let's take it. We gotta, we gotta take control of this next round. Right? Hey, when, like two rounds big. when you're in the clinch, I need you to go first. Don't worry, not, don't feel perfect. Having a hard time landing with your hands, kick first. Sh sh jab, jab, kick. Okay, land with the kicks to freeze him up. Cool. I also want to see a takedown attempt this round, okay? I want you to look for the takedown this round. Let's get on top. Don't waste energy if it's not there, but you get it if you, get it, if you can. Outside, outside, mm -hmm. outside, outside. Fundamentals, keep moving, keep moving. The UFC Featherweight Championship is up for grabs on June 6th when the greatest female fighter of all time, Amanda Nunes, defends her 145-pound title against Canadian submission ace Felicia Spencer. It's UFC 250 only on pay-per-view, and it can only be seen on ESPN+. Plus. Well, really good work from both corners there. Perillo calling for more action, wanting Cheeto to push forward, use the jabs, try and open him up. On the flip side, Team Alpha Male saying, we want a takedown in this round, so both guys giving good advice. Total strikes, just about identical, although Song Yudong putting together a couple of nice right hands there. So fast. And you know, if you're Marlon Vera in the first round there, he was a little tentative because when you're going against somebody that's known to be this big, massive power puncher, you gotta be careful. But he took his time, he's had five minutes, he's like, hold on a minute, I've got the reading, I'm fast enough to evade those punches, and I'm tough enough to take them if he does connect. Trying to use that leg reach. Marlon Vera as he fires off a kick on each side. And you can see Vera working the legs of Song Yudong while Song is going head hunting a little bit. And now working the body there on the combination. Unbeaten in five UFC appearances is Song Yudong. He's won four of them. To go along with a draw, he's got three performance of the night bonuses in his four wins. So when he's getting his hand raised, chances are it's a jaw-dropping performance. Oh, 
Oh, that was nice work by Marlon there. Yeah, Parry the jab, like came in two double lefts, yeah. closed the distance, got the clinch. Seems to want want to get in there and, and, and fight in the clinch. Yeah, well, I guess in round he, one, he had control of Yodong. Well, if you've got the clinch, if you're in a close like that, in such close proximity, Song nice can't combo. hold up on those big, powerful punches. They're just little, small ones on the inside. A couple of nice right crosses for Yodong with a direct connection. Sarah, as always, showing the toughness. He'll walk, walk right into the fire. He yeah, doesn't seem to be too worried. You gotta be careful though, because as he's stalking him, Yudong's just sliding back and landing some good combos. Nice kick to the body there from Para. Eats one to the body. Ooh. Combination from Song. These guys are letting it go here. Man, oh, Song is swinging left here. Him on the way out. Yeah, Song is swinging with everything he's got. I'll tell you, there's some chin on Marlon because he's taking some heavy shots clean on the chin. Still advancing is Marlon Vera as Song looking for those counter strikes and tries to put together another combination. Oh, nice left hook there from Song. Your sure right favor has said he believes Song Yudong is the future of the sport with how great he is. Just 22 years old. This is 21st professional MMA appearance. And uh, probably no better training to find for guys of his size than yeah. Team Alpha Male in Sacramento. That was a nice one too. Both guys having a lot of success here. Both guys landing, but Song, you know, he's landing the cleaner, heavier shots. And just throwing more. He's busy. He's moving back a lot. Oh, that's he's throwing a lot of combos. Ooh, right impressive. Right and knee. A nice knee on the way in, but... Missed the chin of Song, who forces the clinch, and now Vera reverses position. Attack the legs. Attack the legs. There you go. Again, again, again. There you go. Beautiful. Just keep pounding the legs. Yeah, keep them here. Stay yeah. busy. That's good work. Just keep kneeing those knees. Or the thighs, pardon me. Grab your legs. Slow down the movement. Whoa. Man, now he's got a switch. Turn it into a firefight along the fence. A fight in a phone box with the elbows. My kind of fight. My kind of fight as well. Look at this. Now they return to the center. No slowdown in the action, though, as we're under a minute to go in round two. No, and that's the, the, the thing about Vera. He stays so calm and moves forward. You, you don't ever really see him slow down because of that. He doesn't overexert himself. And you see Yudong putting everything in these shots. Yeah, Song put together a real nice combination there. Marlon's looking for the knees. Oh, oh, wow, a nice man. counter yeah, right much, from... Much more even in this second round. Oh, oh, nice oh, body oh, shot! Nice work. That was a Vera. heavy body shot. Song felt that one. Back in the tie clinch. Final seconds here, round number two. And these two are still swinging Whoa. big. But we'll get to a third round. It comes up after this. Let's go, baby. Come on. Relax, breathe, okay? Okay, Song, listen. That's it, baby. This is where the fight starts. This is, this the is where fight. the fight starts, okay, baby. If you want to win this fight, we need to win this round. This is the fight right here, go, okay? Baby. Forget what's happened. Let's dig deep. Let's push here. Song, listen up. Welcome go. It's the last round. Start with jabs and footwork. It's time to fucking fight. Let's go. And, and this guy's breaking. This guy's busy. Great to keep backing him up. And and taking his him. best fucking shots. Now listen. Yeah. Clinch work is perfect. And busy, 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 busy. busy. All right, touch and touch and touch. Hey, hey clinch work. Go. Clinch work is good. Clinch, clinch, work. clinch work is perfect, man. Hey, don't force him when you're in the clinch. Hey, let's go. Ow! Yeah, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Round three is brought to you by P3, the official protein snack of UFC. All right, final round, gentlemen. Let's go. Third and final look round. At look at Vera go right Vera. across the octagon. That was awesome. But Perillo said, "Busy, busy, busy," yeah. which is absolutely right. I mean, I mean, listen, it was, it was a very busy second round. But whoever wins this higher out, sorry, 
will win this round with a higher oh, output. Yeah, you know? I agree with you, Mike. They, so they got to get busy. And both guys met right there in the middle. Let's but there you go, go buddy. Varys had success in here. He's landed it. He landed a beautiful knee right on the buzzer. I don't know. I wouldn't say that it was illegal. Oh, oh, that, that's huge. Oh, right into. Well, half guard. Almost thought he had into mount, mount Brendan. Yeah, almost. Almost into mount. Got a little excited there. That was beautiful. I think this is best case scenario from in the guard. He can land ground and pound here because. Uh, a song will scramble so crazy, especially working with Team Alpha Mal and Uriah. If you leave him a, a, a space to underhook and pop his hip back out, he will. Well, I think Marlon has an advantage in the jiu-jitsu here. But he's got to go to work. He's got to make this position pay. He's got him down, got him where he wants. He's on top. He's got the advantage. Look out for the Good kick. shots. Here's where his reach can come into, uh, it, you know, into play and use it to his advantage as well. Marlon Vera is a black belt in jiu-jitsu. He's got eight wins by submission, five different techniques of those eight stoppages by tap out. Real nice work by Song here, though. Back to the feet. Control the head. Oh! Ripped the body big time there. So a nice first 90 seconds of round number three for Chito Vera. And now Song trying to put it together. He's got that quick one-two, Paul. Yes, Vera doing a good job of, uh, uh, of you know, hand-fighting them and, and, and blocking a lot of these punches and moving forward. I wouldn't be surprised if we see Song attempt his own takedown to get that back here in this third round, especially in a round that's going to mean so much to the outcome of this fight. Marlon does a real good job of doing an advancing knee with the left leg. Kind of feints it and then throws a good jab. He's landed it many times. Song's background is in striking. Started training in Kung Fu when he was nine years old and realizes that he needs to get as good on the ground as he is on the feet. Started to try to find a home for some of these punches here with under three minutes to go. Yeah, and Song's starting to land some combos here. This is a really close fight, though. Ooh, nice left, left toss. One, two, five right now. One, two, five, two. One, two, five, two. Two and a half to go. Oh, Another man. counter combination on the way out for Song. I'll tell you what, Marlon's got some chin because every time Song throws, you can hear the impact. It's just a, a sickening thud. Oh, yeah, like right there. Yep. Oh, wow. Man, he yeah. comes in with the uppercut. Song is really starting to land here. Look at that. Coming up with a knee to the body. So short. Now kick down low for Vera. Oh. Song swinging on the other side. Yeah, Vera's landing here too. Both guys going back and forth, just eating punches. Nice one, two there for Vera. Real nice work. Knee up the middle. Exhausting pace here in round three as well. I mean, at this point, this is just a dog fight. Both guys are very, very evenly matched. They've both got the same will to win. They're oh, basically right. evenly matched, and it's just, okay, we're going to stand there, and someone's going to fall down, and we're going to see who it is first. Nice knee to the body. Oh, uppercut. 90 seconds to go nice now. Knee. Nice. Neither of these fighters have ever been finished. That's crazy. There's something got to give here in the final 120 to go. 80 seconds. Let's go. Song works. Suck it up. Let's go. Each of these guys has landed more than 100 total strikes through about 14 minutes. Yes. Nice. Real nice trip. Great work. You got one minute, go. Second takedown of round number three for Vera. That's definitely going to get in the third round with the two takedowns. The first two rounds are very close, though. Oh, man. Vera is in incredible shape to be able to push the pace that he's pushing right now. Elbow. Song is still there, throwing hard as well. Nice Look at that. Yeah, real nice work. Dominant Ooh, position with 30 wow. seconds to, to work it. here for Chito. Chito showing his slick yeah. submission skills. Real nice work. He's almost in mount if he steps over. Excuse me, grappling skills, not submission skills. Same thing. Same thing. I got you. That's the same thing, right? It's the same thing. Final 15 seconds elbow. here. Elbow. Look at that. Two good shots. Tremendous work by both men. Yeah, Song has got a... Man. Well, what a 15 minutes Woo. of action and unofficially the most amount of significant strikes Whoa. each of these guys has Whoa. ever landed. Hey, and hey, one hey, more hey, as Chito going a little acrobatic on the end. It's time for step up.
with Boost Mobile. Paul, you gotta love the action from bell to bell there. Oh my goodness, these guys are going back and forth. Here's that nice left elbow from Rivera. Uh, right in the middle of that boom jab right down the pipe both guys trading back and forth Yudong had his moments too just cracking Cheeto boom big swing and a miss but in this clinch is where he was doing his best work look at that oh my goodness this was the whole third round back and forth big body shot Mike noticed that one that left hook to the liver and ultimately gets this takedown here as well that was clutch going into this third round and Vera just showing some good defense. Both guys, man, crazy fight. Five fight win streak coming into this one for that man, Song Yudong, unbeaten in the octagon. Something's gotta give. The official decision is next. Woo. After the break. <laughs> UFC Fight Night is presented by Modelo. Now let's all find out what the official decision is after a great fight with Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest. 29-28 for the winner by unanimous decision, Sonia Dawn. I'm here with the winner. No, fuck that, fuck that. Song Yudong, Song. Well, first of all, congratulations. An incredible fight, back and forth. Going into this decision, did you guys think you had done enough to get the nod? Uh, uh, he, he did all can he do right now. It's only two weeks for preparation, and then two weeks ago he's eating like a fried chicken and coke at home. <laughs> well, it was an absolute back and forth battle on the feet. Um, how did you think that you were going to get it done tonight? Did you think you were going to be able to knock him out? Were you surprised at how well he could take some of these power shots that you were dishing out in this fight? He was prepared for uh, three rounds. His uh, opponent was a really good fighter. Absolutely, and at only 22 years old, what's next for you? How soon do you want to get back into the octagon? So it's a quick preparation for this fight, so he didn't um, think about the next one. Well, it was an outstanding performance. Congratulations again, Song Yudong.